G'day peeps, just done, literally just got in raced in to do this for you guys and uh, Murray's not far away, he'll drop in and out because he's driving so we'll just see how that goes, fresh cut today, um, yeah so that's the fun and game, <laughs> fun and games is a Sunday session with no subject so g'day to the people that are watching. So yeah, last last or my my story last night was a mate's uh, wedding reception. So I went and had a few drinks to celebrate that young fella. Probably big bonus for me is I found a shirt I was able to wear uh, cufflinks to be my top G self. So yeah, having the right shirt to wear cufflinks was a <laughs> something I didn't know I had, but I found the shirt. Hang on, that's a double button. I can actually wear these cufflinks properly. So, yeah, I'll just whip them out of the out of the magic box here. So I've had these since my wedding. So that's the fancy stuff. Um, I've got two sets in there. I don't have to. Don't have the camera says. Look, we'll just get fingers and toes and everything in the my hands. Camera, links. Check out them bad. Boys, all right. So that was Dave's wedding. Mighty Mars, how are you, mate? Good, mate. Yourself? Oh yeah, just literally raced in from the shearing shed, still trucking sheep. Oh shit, yeah, right. Oh, there's still running all happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine days, nine days on the go now, and a few more to go. So that's insane. But anyway, traveling all right and loading in okay for you. Well, they don't like going on the first time, but when they go on the second time, they're behaving themselves. Yeah. Stuff like and that. Um, buddy, yeah, um, it's not too. Yeah. Sit out of the system. Yeah. Last night, uh, the bloke that works for us, a mate of mine, he had his wedding reception. So he we went to town and had a few frothies with him. They lovely, put on lovely. a nice feed, um, yeah, as you do at a wedding reception. And I found a shirt in my cupboard that I got to wear cufflinks. So I don't know if you can see the. There's the camera. Fancy, fancy ass cufflinks. Hell yeah! That's yeah, yeah. Right. Proper stuff. <laughs> um, and I didn't have a situation to be best version version of myself, you know, fresh cut yesterday, so, yep, yep. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just, I suppose, because it's, that's, I, I've come up with no subject, but I think we've actually got onto a subject about, you know, presenting and being our best version of ourselves and living life in the moment and all that sort of fun stuff that we waffle on about. Absolutely, and I mean, and we have talked about it a lot in the past too, but it's, I think it still bears discussing. Um, I mean, I'm due for a haircut myself. My buddy was thinking about it, um, heading to Gerald at the moment. I'm just in the end of reception now, so I uh, <coughs> asked for the reef flowers. And, um, but anyway, whatever. I'm, but what you're saying there, sure, is really. I think you're just cutting in and out a bit there, Muzz. I didn't quite get all that, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't know. It's, well, I'm sitting in the house. I'm starling. So, um, yeah. yeah. Well, what did you have a question, Muzz, or what were you saying at the end there? Oh, just right then. I was um, just saying, it, buddy. Talking about presentation, you got a nice shirt on today. Ah, well, it's just the top half looks all right. It's just not that dusty yet from the sheep yards. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, just, yeah, I had a. I'm actually still got it here. I even has I even got trousers on last night. I haven't worn a set of suit trousers in years. 
getting all dressed up, having a fancy shirt. I, I'll get a few of them, but then Bernardo fit into my. You know, being that pre pre well presented version of myself, the top G version, Stewie PG, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> the G man. Um, I've actually got enough for now gear in the in the closet to be that person with the the nice dress shoes and 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 well presented, and I was really, really happy in that, that fact. So you know that was um. That was a surprise to me that I had it. You must be still moving, Muzz. You're a bit glitchy. That, that's all right. I'll just waffle, waffle on till you get back on in the reception. <laughs> How are we going now? Am I better, better now, Stuart? I can hear you. Yep. 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 Oh, that's all right. No, um, I, I missed a bit of what you were saying there, but, uh, you know, what I gather you were saying about having all the beautiful um, clothing in your, in, your, in your wardrobe there, that you probably get a chance to air out and, and wear and present yourself. I missed, I missed the last bit. It's, and it's a stupid thing about these videos. Like, I don't, I don't get this thing right. So when we do these calls, yeah. and, and you're talking now, and you're super quiet on this phone, and I don't know how to... I've got the volume right up and everything. But then when I go watch the oh. replay back, I can hear you loud and clear, and I'm going, sometimes I sound like a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> no, that's weird, mate. No... I've been having trouble with this phone lately. It's um, some people can't hear me on the other end, but it's funny that you say that the video comes out clear and loud. So I'm bugging upon O. Yeah, we'll just pick on Facebook for that one. <laughs> Thanks, Facebook. Facebook, technology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it was an interesting, interesting couple of hours, but, and it's been an interesting week. I'm not a I'm not a stock truckies asshole. I'll be honest about that. I've got the got the hand, hand to show for it. All the blood and shit missing off my hand from bashing the crate trying to get sheep out. And there's lots of words that get said that shouldn't be said in front of my young fella. Were you being colourful, Stuart? Oh oh yes. There is some there is some <laughs> mighty colourful language. There is particularly, and I'm sure all stockmen know those words <laughs> and uh yeah. but yeah have borrowed a crate which is good to get the sheep to and from the shed which helps the community out because i'm not dragging weak sheep up the road and then having to pick sheep up and you're interrupting traffic interrupting me chasing my sheep versus me interrupting the traffic you know so win-win bit of hard work bit of Bit of blood and sweat, a few swear words. Never hurt anyone. No, no. And a double bonus for me is the, uh, the young fella is my truckie offsider. So Beautiful. I don't have to have a barking dog. I've got another type of barking dog. So he'll get he'll get in the crate and he'll bark at him. He'll, he'll be, stick him in the in the in the box up the end. There he's going row 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 row. It's just a good bit of father son fun you know and he's Absolutely he's enjoying it doing something different he's learning some different skills like how to chase too much noise you know he's getting over because we trucked uh dad walked the suffix up the road but i trucked the cheviots so that was a pretty unique experience for me and and my young fella to go not only re reverse the semi into the yards that I normally only take a car and trailer into, and it's yes. like that was a that was, was a maneuver in itself. I had one one adjustment to get this ramp in the right spot, so I thought that was pretty good. Reversing, well, 
say 120 degrees around a right hand corner. <laughs> so it was pretty tight. Yeah, te- te- you, to test your skills a bit there, Sean. Yeah, well, it certainly tested my skill. Uh, I've just had a bit of practice this week though, reversing a truck, because at the, at the shed, I can't loop around and drive in. So I drive up, up a race and then I've got to drive past it to reverse up to, to get to the shed and in, in back into the yards. So the old truck reversing skills have had a fair workout the last nine days so far. So, so I'm learning a bit. But to get, yeah, it was uh, it, the, fun, the fun thing. And Jack and I realized on the way after picking up the Cheviots, so we backed the truck in. And we set the ramp up, or well, I set the ramp up because he's not that. It's a it's aluminium ramp, so it's proper ramp. And we loaded two decks of Chevy. Me and the young, young fella, and even one sheep jumped out the race, and we got that back in, and we got them all loaded in like an hour and a half or something. So a, a 43 year old man and a 11 year old boy loaded two decks of wild as hell crossbred sheep using lambs in in behind the gates chained up easy done and then drove yeah. to the shed and we offloaded them nice and easy and but we realized on the way up the driveway that we were both smiling like we were happy that we did it and how easy it went it was like you're smiling like, i'm smiling we're happy it's like we just both had that realization i said yeah i'm happy that that went really well and that was a great experience for both of us because normally to truck those sheep so having a proper truck is a double bonus and i explained to jack and said do you realize how many trailer loads of sheep are on this one truck load probably about seven or eight yeah yeah so that would take me more than a full day to cart those cheviots from that paddock to the shearing shed to shear them and we did it in an hour and a half in, in a you know in a semi stock crate so it's a proper stock crate yeah. and i thought you know we're having a yarn going well that just proves its value in you know we're borrowing one and it's sort of like a trial to see if we want one so then we go well maybe that's the next thing to go on the vision board so i might yeah might well, have to print out a picture cool. and i could take the night So there's plenty of stories to say about that. So ticking stuff off the old vision board here. So maybe maybe after this week, and they come they come up for sale occasionally. We might go buy a stock crate to make our life easier for this time of year. And then maybe what we what I said is that you got to if you're going to go spend all this money, you've got to value it. So there may be. When we sell crossies, we load them on our truck and maybe go to the neighbor's place and get his and make a few dollars doing a load or two down to the abattoirs for the year to, to properly value buying that asset. Well, it becomes an asset then instead of a liability. Because if you just bought it to use it and you're not making any money from it, it's a liability. This is this is the conversation that farmers don't have correctly with themselves. No, exactly right. <clears throat> well, look, not many do, I don't think, Stuart. And it's interesting. We have some discussions at home with my neighbours about buying certain things. Um, you know, one neighbour's bought um, a, you know, a set of uh, water carts, uh, water cutting trailers, whatever, um, 30,000 litres each. So he hires them out, but he also, like, if he gets stuck during a wind drought, <coughs> he's able to cut water with it. So it's a, it's a double banger sort of a thing. Um, another bloke upgraded his grader to use for, for contracting, hire, whatever. And also he's got a beautiful machine to use on the station. So, as you say, like, value adding it. So, you know, if you have your sheep crate there, you can work it with your mates and buddy. Make it work well. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's where like when we talk about 
you know, on machinery go, you go buy a header. So you go buy a new header, it's a million bucks. Yeah. Is that an asset or a liability? Because any farm would say an asset, it's taken my crop off. But in actual fact, it's a liability because it's not directly making you any more income unless you go contracting. Yes, you're not paying a contractor to take your crop off, but you're not actually making a heap of money from it. You're just piecing in the puzzle. So there's no, you know, you've got to do that, help the neighbours out or go out of town and do a bit of a contract harvesting or something to, to value add that machine. Otherwise, it's realistically, it's a liability in your business. And if you don't, well, don't see, think I've, of it as a liability, you go. Well, it's so interesting hearing you say that, Stuart, because it's one thing I've often wondered about headers, for example, um, because there are specifically built tool machine that gets used for, what, a month, two months of the year? Yeah. And the rest of the year is sitting there doing nothing. Um, and, and, and I'm not having a go on anyone, obviously, but it's just, it's just so interesting for me, from my background, where like, everything was... That's all right. Yeah, no, and, and that's, yeah, farming is a unique. So you go spend a million bucks on a truck or a set of trailers. What do you do? You move a bit of dirt, a bit of grain, whatever. And, and yeah, but they, whether, whether if you buy it, like I wouldn't be spending a million bucks on a truck for myself. I'd have, uh, I can't add, make that value work but if if i was a trucking contractor yeah because you're in the truck 10 11 months of the year doing your stuff that's your business that's a, that's a different type of asset because you're then trucking for everyone else making money but uh yeah assets and liabilities and try is it what i what i'm loving about this week i suppose is probably the try before you buy a scenario. So borrowing a stock crate before I buy one. Because we bought, we bought a big water tanker a couple of weeks ago because we've had different size water tanks. So it's matching the business to the right size asset to make it work. Yeah. And maybe that's something that I've considered with well it's not something that I have maybe considered I've certainly considered investing uh, more into my energy business and buying another KA so I can loan it out to people on that try before you buy scenario and, and maybe maybe that's the, the that'll be the catalyst that takes me from here to here to go all right I've spent this money <clears throat> you guys loan me stuff, I'll loan you something. Here, here's your 21 days, improve your water, right? And then, then I'll come and get it back, and someone else can have it for 21 days. And I'll go, all right, how do you feel? And, and it may, you know, it'll work. Lots of people do it in the, in the industry and all the chats and stuff that we're involved in. Lots of people have, have to start their business like that with, uh, what they call a quad, because I leave it, have it um, in a second house or something, or they have it as a loaner machine, or, or or they might buy two. They might have two bathrooms, so they have, get two Anespas. Then you have a K8 at Yukon, and and it's um, it's uh, that easy, or something about something about that information. I've learned more in. Uh, the latest TFE update. So in the yeah, right. in the app, app now, it's really easy 
they've added more and more in there. So it's really sure. easy to find more information, more specific information. They've got all the, the pricing stuff easy to go in there, whether it be Australia, New Zealand, Europe, whatever. So they've actually really done a huge update. And I was, I was getting some stuff out there for, for some leads the other week. And I went, wow, wow, it's just that easy now to go to this one spot, get all this information on the stuff that I've got so that I can share that information with whoever asks. That's just so that then we can talk about uh, everyone upgrades their life. Cut in now. Says what you, yeah, you, I heard you said you were going to go. That's all right. You're cruising around, stuff and receptions not as awesome, and we shouldn't be on our phones in our cars anyway. So <laughs> I've about said my piece, and I hope there's plenty of value in this. I don't hope. Duh. Get your language right, Stuart. There is plenty of value in this video for the people who watch it. So enjoy the video. And before we sign off, I'd like to thank all the farmers that grow all the food. You're doing a great job. And thank all the truckies that move the stuff around the, the straight, the, the state and the country and stuff. I'm feeling your pain, literally. Um, keep, keep going. Without it, without Australia, hang on, without trucks, Australia stops, that, that old chestnut. And I'd like to thank all the veterans in the world that have fought for our freedom and continue to do so. So I think the value for today's Sunday session and I might go whip up some lunch for me and the young fella and get back to trucking. So peace out and have a good one, people. Have a great Sunday.